Hello friends, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. This is Randy from Rand's Graphics. So without wasting our time, let's go jump in into After Effects. But before that, I'm gonna be showing you what we're gonna be making today, okay? So now we are here inside After Effects, all we have to do is to create a new composition, name it Intro. 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second, 10 seconds duration, click OK. Go to the project panel, open this folder assets, expand this footage, drop the bouquet down into the timeline. Right click your mouse, pre-compose it, name it BG. Move all the attributes into the new composition, click OK. Go back to the project panel and drop down these floral ornaments into the timeline. Right click the mouse, pre-compose it, name it floral. Move all the attributes into the new composition, click OK. Make sure that the floral is highlighted, go to effects and preset, go to generate, fill. Change the color here to BA4C45F, then click OK. Go back to effects and preset, go to perspective, drop shadow, change the distance here to 2, softness 1. Then move your player forward to see the shape, then grab your text tool and type Brian. I'm using the Archon font, rounded, regular, at 72 pixels. Move it somewhere here, then go to effects and preset, go to generate fill. Change the color here to the A76F. Click OK. Go back to the effects and preset. Go to perspective, drop shadow, and change the softness here to 1. Then move back your playhead to the 3 seconds duration. Press open bracket key to move that layer. Open the layer. Go to animate. Add opacity. Go again to animate and add tracking. Create a keyframe by hitting this stopwatch on the opacity. Set the value here to 0. Hit the stopwatch on the tracking amount. Set the value here to 18. Then move forward your playhead to 3 seconds and 5 frames. Set the opacity here to 100%. Then move forward your playhead to 4 seconds and 15 frames duration. Set the tracking amount here to 0. Highlight it, press your keyboard control D to duplicate it. Then move your playhead back to the 3 seconds and 15 frames duration. Press open bucket key to move that layer. Then double click your mouse to change the text. Change it to Michelle. Press P on your keyboard for the position, drag it down. Drag it down a bit. Then make sure that this anchor point must be on the left side. All I have to do is to just use the move anchor point. Move back my plate to the beginning of the timeline. And let's preview this. Let's see. There you go. That's what we want. Go to Composition, create a new composition, name it Transition. Mm -hmm. 
1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second and 10 seconds duration click ok now go to layer create a new shape layer grab the shape tool change this to ellipse tool press your keyboard shift and drag the mouse like this center it horizontally and vertically then move your play it forward to 2 seconds and 15 frames press p on your keyboard for the position make a keyframe by hitting this stopwatch on the position and move back your playhead at the beginning of the timeline move your shape on the right side highlight all these keyframes press f9 to easy it open graph editor highlight this corner and drag the handle on the left side like that close it preview it let's see yeah this is what we want now i'm gonna go to the panel i will highlight this light leak and particles drag it on this icon to create a composition make sure that it's a multiple compositions click ok open this image highlight these two textures drag it on this composition icon to create a composition make sure that it's multiple compositions click ok for composition create a new composition name it placeholder 1 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second 10 seconds duration click ok go to the image folder open it up open this image highlight this image one drop it down into the timeline press s on the keyboard for the scale scale it down core composition create a new composition name it parallax effect one Nineteen twenty by ten eighty p third frames per second ten seconds duration click OK go to the project panel and drop down this placeholder one into the timeline toggle switches modes in here enable three D layer press your keyboard control D to duplicate it disable the visibility on the layer two and change the color code here to cyan then go to shape tool double click your mouse to create a mask. Then press P on your keyboard for the position. Just change the position here to 1000. Highlight this placeholder one. Press S on your keyboard for the scale. Just scale it up like this. Then open the mask. Press M on your keyboard for the mask. Change the mask here to subtract. Then the feather, change this to 150. Again, highlight this placeholder one. Press your keyboard control D to duplicate it. Change the color code here to fascia. Press P on your keyboard for the position. Change the Z position to 1500. Press S on your keyboard for the scale. Just scale it up like this. Close it. Highlight it again. Press your keyboard control D to duplicate it. Change the color code here to brown. Press P on your keyboard for the position. Change the Z position here to 2000. Then highlight it again. Press S on your keyboard for the scale. Scale it up. Highlight this placeholder and press on your keyboard control D to duplicate it. Change the color code here to orange. Press P on your keyboard for the position. Change the Z position here to negative 1000. Then highlight it again and press S on your keyboard for the scale. Scale it down. Highlight it again. Press on your keyboard control D to duplicate it. Change the color code here to purple. Press P on your keyboard for the position. Change the Z position here to negative 1500. Press S on your keyboard for the scale. Then scale it down. Highlight it again and press Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate it. Change the color code here to green. Press P on your keyboard for the position. Change the Z position here to negative 2000. 
highlight it again and press S on your keyboard for the scale scale it down highlight these two textures and drop it down into the timeline press T on your keyboard for the opacity change the opacity here to 20% enable the 3D layers Press it on your keyboard for the scale. Scale it down. Go back to project panel and highlight these particles. Drop it down into the timeline. Enable the 3D layer here. Press T on your keyboard for opacity. Change the opacity here to 30%. Then I will go to composition. Composition settings. Instead of the duration is 10, I will change this to 7. Click OK. Go to layer, create a new adjustment layer. Go to effects and preset, go to distort, add CC lens. Move your player forward to one second, change the value of the size to 500. Create a keyframe by hitting this stopwatch on the size. Move your player forward to five seconds duration and change the size to 240. Then go to layer, create a new null object. Enable the 3D layer on the null object. Highlight the particles layer down to the placeholder one and parent these layers to the null object one. Then highlight the null object one. Press P on the keyboard for the position. Move backwards your playhead to the one second duration. Create a keyframe on the position. Move your playhead at the beginning of the timeline and change the X position here to negative. 2360 then make sure that this placeholder is already enable the visibility and let's try to preview it there you go again go to layer create a new null object then enable the 3d layer on the null object parent the null object 1 to the null object 2 Press S on your keyboard for the scale. Move your playhead on the one second duration. Create a keyframe on the scale. Move forward your playhead at the end of the timeline. Change the scale to 120. Then highlight the null object one. Press you on your keyboard to see the keyframes. Move back your playhead to one second and 10 frames. Move this keyframe on that duration. Highlight these keyframes. Press F9 to easy zip. Open graph editor. Highlight this corner, move the handle on the left side. Now I will go to my project panel, create a folder, name it scene 1. I will highlight this parallax effect 1, drag it down into the scene 1 folder and also the placeholder. Create another folder and name it common comms. I will highlight these textures, drag it up inside the common comps, also the particles and the light leak. Create another folder and name it intro. I will highlight this intro, put it into the intro folder, the BG and the floral. Create another folder and I will name it scene 2. Open the scene 1 folder, highlight these two compositions, go to edit, duplicate it. Drag this duplicated folder to the scene 2 folder, then double click your mouse to open it up. Open the placeholder 1, delete this image, go to assets, open it up, go to the image folder, highlight this image 2 and drop it down into the timeline. Press S on your keyboard to scale down. Then go to Parallax Effect 2, highlight all the placeholders, press on your keyboard Alt and hold it, replace it by the placeholder 2. Then go to Composition, create a new composition, name it Main. 1920 by 1080p, 3rd frames per second and change the duration here to 24 seconds. Click OK. Open the intro, 
drop the intro down into the timeline open the scene one folder highlight this parallax effect one drop it down into the timeline go to common comps open it up drop this transition down into the timeline just drag it below the parallax effect one press on your keyboard ctrl d to duplicate it then this duplicated composition drag it up above the parallax effect one highlight the parallax transition to highlight this parallax effect toggle switch is mode in here change the track mat to alpha mat then highlight the transition press t on your keyboard for the opacity change the opacity here to 30 percent move your player to 8 seconds and 15 frames then press open bracket key to move the player then move back your player to a frame highlight this transition layer and press open bracket key so let's preview this So now I will open the scene 2 folder, drop down this parallax effect 2 into the timeline. I will drop down this transition into the timeline, just below the parallax effect 2. Then press my keyboard control D to duplicate it. Drag the duplicated transition on top of the parallax effect 2. Change the track mat on the parallax effect 2 to alpha mat then highlight this transition below press t on your keyboard for opacity change the opacity to 30 percent highlight these three compositions move your play to 13 seconds and 15 frames then press open bracket key to move that layer move your play back to a frame highlight this transition press open bracket key to move that layer let's preview this again let's see nice so now i will drop down this light leak into the timeline change the blending mode here to add pv this again nice press t on your keyboard for the opacity and change this opacity to 50 percent now let's preview this So now guys we are done with our tutorial and I hope that you learned from it. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment or give me several thanks if you want to support my channel. Press the notification bell so that you will be updated to all the videos that I'm gonna be uploading. Thoughts for today guys is that aim yourself high to become creative. You will see at the end that there will be an amazing result. Thank you very much guys for watching and see you next time. God bless.